Hi, this is Armour from Pushbots, and today we're very excited to release our second version of our Android SDK that comes with a lot of enhancements and a lot of changes. We've made it a lot easier to customize the notification. We we're supporting Android Studio and Gradle. We also made a lot of enhancement to deep linking and a lot of things you guys are going to see. So let's start by a step-by-step -step tutorial. I walk you through to guide you through implementation of our new SDK. So let's start. First and foremost, before going even to push bots, we need to have two things on the Google side. We need to have your center ID and your GCM server key. So let's go to console to developers to google.com and create a new project. I'll call it my demo project. All right. This is your center ID. You want to keep it somewhere. So let me just put it next we need to go to API and authentication we first need to activate Google Cloud messaging so we have this one we turn it on and now we go to credentials and we need to create a new key and we click a server key and now you have a server key. Let's also keep it here. Now let's go to the manual. So this is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to implement pushbots into your Android uh, project. You can do that via Android Studio or via Eclipse, but for the sake of this um, tutorial, I'll be using Android Studio. So make sure you have the latest version of Android Studio. Let me launch my Android Studio. Let me start a new project. It's called Demo. And I'll just choose a blank activity. And that's it. While, while it's building, let me guide you through the steps. So we have five major steps. First step is to edit our Gradle file. Then we edit the Android manifest, and then we create a new Pushbots app, and then create an XML file and the resources, and then we just initialize Pushbots. So first, let's go to this build Gradle um, file. It's not the project, and then add dependencies. And right now we have two dependencies. So we have the Android support uh, library or the app comp uh, version seven, and the Pushbots uh, library dependency. So now we need to build our project. It's worth noting that the current version is 2.0.7, but just make sure that you're embedding the latest version of the Pushbots library. Gradle is done. So now we need to go to the second step, which is modifying our Android manifest. So let me open the manifest. So first thing we need to add some of the permissions and I'm just going to add it right here and then I need to add this intent filter in my uh, main activity just before the end of the application tag I need to add this activity and receivers so that's pretty much it what we also want to do is we want to make sure that we're replacing com.example sample app so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna change it to come to test the demo, and I'm just gonna replace all. Now let's go to the third step, which is create a pushbots new app. So let me go to my dashboard. So I'm gonna add a new application. I'm gonna call it demo, and I'm gonna click Android, and I need to paste the server key that I had generated in the beginning of the video. So now I'm going to add my application. So now I have this application ID and application secret. So I'm going to go back to Android Studio, go to Values, and add a new resource file. I'm going to call it pushbots.xml. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it right here. Then I'm going to change this app ID with the app ID I have from pushbots. And this is my center ID, so I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it. 
the final step to the main activity. So all we need to do is to initialize pushbots. And that's pretty much it. Let's now rebuild. And meanwhile, if you go to the dashboard, you'd notice that there are no devices right now. Zero device. So now the app is running. And as you see in the log, it's the device is now registered on pushbots successfully. So now if you go back to the dashboard, make a refresh, then we will get one device. So now we're pretty much ready to start pushing.